To refurbish a property, what rate of VAT do you pay on the refurb costs? Standard. 20%. Okay. If you do a commercial conversion, what rate do you pay? 5%. Ash, do you happen to know why it's 5%? Sharp, yeah, sharp. <laughs> he, he figured out five percent before anybody in the room figured it out. I don't know how he does this stuff, by the way. He's really good. Very good at maths. Okay. So for, you pay five percent. If you increase the number of units, you pay five percent. If you reduce the number of units, you pay five percent. If you buy a house which you've been empty for two years or longer, you pay five percent. So bear that in mind, especially when you're buying a house. However, if you're going to buy the materials you, yourself and you're going to <coughs> outsource the labor costs, then you're going to pay 20% on the materials. So do the math. Sometimes it could be better for you to get the builder to buy the materials. So you pay 5%. If you sell those units, <coughs> you claim back all the VAT. If you keep the units, you can't claim back the VAT. Why do you think... If you hold on to the units, you can't pay the VAT. I kind of gave you the answer about 20 minutes ago. So somebody has got five units that they've created. They're going to rent them out to tenants. Are they going to charge VAT on the rent? No. No. Therefore, HMRC says, well, if you're not going to charge VAT on the rent, why should we give you the VAT back? On a commercial property, remember? They can't claim all the VAT back, so they can charge VAT on commercial property. Residential, they can't do that, so HMRC says you can't. However, there is a way of, of, of doing this, uh, and in the interest of time, I'm going to just share with you what it is very quickly. So, if you're structured properly, and you assign a lease of longer than 21 years, and, you, and you're holding on to the units, you can get the 5% back. So, in your mind, just think, lease longer than 21 years, there's a way Shaz said you can get it back. Chris, is that good or is that good? Amazing. Paul, is that amazing or is that amazing? Yeah. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean amazing in Yorkshire? Yeah. 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 I'm pushing my luck now. <laughs> <laughs>